I'm Simon Stanley, Analyst at Large at Heavy Reading, and I'm delighted to be joined by Tom Burns, General Manager for Optical Modules and Coherent Solutions at Infinera. Now, Tom, I know you recently joined Infinera, so perhaps you could just tell us about your current role at the company and also what attracted you to join it. Great. Thanks so much, Simon, and it's great to be here. So my role at Infinera is, is become General Manager of what we call our Optical Modules and Coherent Solutions Group. It's uh, internally called the subsystems group. And basically what we're doing was we're building a team capitalizing on what we've been doing for years, building these components to build up our systems in the optical coherent area. And we're starting to look at ways that we could potentially sell those to third parties. So we'll build them both for our embedded solutions, but also standalone pluggables initially. Uh, and so we're really excited about kind of the capability to expand our revenue base, We'll talk more about it. We think this is a huge opportunity for Infinera, uh, but I, I came in to lead this particular organization uh, on the optical modules and coherent solutions. Um, the reason I joined Infinera is, is really something that I have a lot of passion about. I just spent the last eight and a half years with Dell, managing their networking, converged, and hyper-converged area. An area of you know, huge opportunity is edge. You know, what's going to happen with 5G, with the expansion of bandwidth, all of these things. And traditional networks aren't going to enable various customers to really bring on the capabilities around edge without a dramatic change to the architecture around the network. And so there's this disruptive innovation that Infranera has created on top of everything they've done in the past. And so we're really excited to bring that to the market. And I think it's just a tremendous opportunity. Now, Infinera is best known as a company making high-performance embedded coherent optical engines. How is the coherent optics market evolving, and what is Infinera's approach to addressing this rapidly changing market? Well, we see the coherent optical market growing really about three times the standard optical market, so it's a tremendous opportunity for the company. And we've laid out publicly a strategy that we call eight by four by one, really means around 800 gig plus which is around the core of the network itself, which continues to expand and bring us opportunities. And our new I6 product line has done really well here in the last couple of quarters, of, as we've announced in our last earnings release. Then we look at the 400 gig area, which is the Metro, where we really want to bring in more of this vertical, vertical integration to be able to compete from a cost standpoint. But we also see the initial opportunities for pluggables. What I talked about before, the capability to introduce the Infranera pluggables into this market. And then as bandwidth expands and 5G gets rolled out, we see coherent going to be necessary for more and more applications at the edge. So really simple, eight by four by one. So we've been delivering these engines for a long time, primarily for embedded solutions. Now we're looking at selling them as separate pluggables. And we have this opportunity to go after this space in both a traditional and this innovative disruptive way. So we'll be able to compete both in the point-to-point -point ZR and ZR plus capabilities, but we'll be introducing this point-to-multipoint capability, which will really allow our customers to enable new services, new business opportunities by lowering the cost of their network, by lowering the cost of operating that network and bringing on new capabilities, particularly at the edge and access. Okay, great. Um, now, XR optics and um, point to multipoint applications do seem to be gaining a lot of attention in the market. What do you think is driving this level of interest and what will be the keys to successfully bringing this type of technology to market? Right. Well, if we, we take a 100,000 foot level of what's happening in the market with the rollout of 5G, um, you know, we're not ruling out 5G just to get faster, you know, audio and video on our cell phones. You know, the cost just doesn't doesn't really make it right as far as the average cost per line and what our telco customers are competing with. But what we do see as the opportunity is how 5G can enable these new services. If we think the evolved, the kind of involvement, involvement, <laughs> we think of the evolution of really starting to connect, you know, multiple devices, the capability around certain verticals. Uh, the increase in bandwidth, uh, you know, everything around AI and ML, which is really going to happen at the edge, our customers cannot operate and enable these new services under a traditional architecture. So what point to multipoint does is it really provides this innovative disruption to really reduce the number of transceivers, reduce the number of aggravation devices, 
So it lowers the footprint, it lowers the power, it really lowers the capex, enabling our customers to put new capabilities in these CEOs and these aggregation offices to enable these new services. So what I think what point to multipoint really does is it really simplifies the edge access area. I think it will expand to Metro in the future by reducing the number of transceivers, reducing the number of you know, aggregation devices and really giving customers a much more cost-effective capability to enable these services on a 5G network and, and other business opportunities. Okay, great. Um, and finally, what do you think the future looks like for embedded and pluggable coherent optical transport? And how is Infonera helping to realize that vision and future? Well, I think the, the future looks really well for the coherent optical market. As I said, it's growing faster than the standard optical market. If you look at the opportunity around pluggables, most analysts believe that this is a four or five billion dollar market opportunity in the future in the next four to five years. And if we think about the capability that Infonera has, who's been developing our own DSPs, is developing a T-ROSA, bringing these things together in what we kind of call this virtuous investment capability of building it both for our embedded, but now being able to sell it on a standalone basis, we could really enter into this market of pluggables, very quickly growing, expanding our market, our revenues, and our reach, also our ecosystem of partners that we work with, without getting into a brand new technology. So really, I think the future looks great because we're capitalizing on what we've been doing over the last 20 years. We're making the adjustments to look at how the market is shaping and coherent from core to metro to access, helping customers really look on how they manage from core to cloud to edge. And I think that the point to multipoint opportunity is really significant there. But again, it's about making share in the, in the coherent optical pluggable space with our point to multipoint. And I think very much based upon our history and our knowledge of systems, taking share in the traditional point-to-point -point space in both ZR and ZR+. Okay, well, thank you, Tom, and thank you for listening. Thank you very much.